be a review problem. Math, what is the solution to the following equation? Here's the equation. X has to be a real valued variable. Here's your answers. Let's see what you get. Press pause. Ready, set, go. Are you back? All right. What I want to do on this is, I'm, number one, I'm going to rely on my calculator because I know on my calculator I have a quadratic uh, equation solver. It's called PolySolve, and it's under the cosine button on my TI-36 Pro. I'm relying on that. So I want to get this into like quadratic equation function, you know. So here we go. 40 x squared plus... 5 times, and, and this, don't be confused about this, this is x minus 3 times x minus 3, okay? I'm going to do that, equals minus 1, okay? Foil that out, that becomes x squared minus 6x plus 9, okay? I'm going to multiply that by 5 now, and I'm going to get 40x squared plus 5x squared minus 30x um, plus 45 equals minus 1. Combine terms, so 45x squared minus 30x, bring the 1 over here, uh, plus 46 equals to 0, okay? Now I've got it in a nice quadratic equation. My polysolve should tell me what the roots are, what the solution to this is, right? Now, since it's a poly, I, I expect two roots, okay? So, nah, those two are probably out, right? Those are probably bad answers. Could be here, could be here, could be here. Okay, let's just see what we get. So, I'm going to go on. Here we go, clear. Clear. All right. So, I go to polysolve, and A is going to be 45. 45, enter. B is going to be minus 30, minus 30, enter. C is going to be 46, enter. And solve, boom, it's that easy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. My calculator says that the first root is one-third plus .954, and you have to scroll over, I. What does that mean? That this is, it has a solution that is not a real number, okay? It has I in it, remember that? So if this has to be a real valued variable, there is no solution. Answer, A, all right? Polysolve in your calculator. If you have to get roots for something, there you go. All right, see you on the next problem.